The lack of consequences for elites and for preferred groups brings about huge injustices. Maybe you, you saw this story. This was a few weeks ago. An 18-year-old guy was caught on camera, on a little nighttime camera over a bed or over a crib, kidnapping and murdering a four-year-old boy. So he go, you can see it's really terrifying. He goes into the, the room, nabs this kid out of bed. He's sleeping next to his brother, a four-year-old boy. And then the boy, sometime later, is found beaten to death, dead on the street. The suspect's name, the suspect who we saw on camera, is Dar- Darren Ronell Brown, 18 years old, uh, strongly suspected of murdering this four-year-old boy, Cash Gurnan. Uh, thankfully, he's been charged with capital murder, which carries a life sentence or possibly the death penalty. Now, how did it get this bad? The reason I bring this up is, is not even to talk about the current charges. Obviously, the guy deserves to fry. There's no question about it. Uh, and it would be good for him to fry. It would be rehabilitative to him to uh, contemplate his own, his own eternal soul. Uh, but uh, this isn't the first time that he's done something like this. This guy, Dar- Darren Rennell Brown, is also accused of walking into a Dallas home on February 8th and grabbing a young child. The police say he broke in and he rummaged around. Then he punched the homeowner after the homeowner confronted him. He, he'd picked up the man's two-year-old granddaughter. The man was able to get the girl back. And then, and this is the weirdest part, the homeowner didn't want to press charges at the time. And he told the police that Brown had apologized to him later. Now, first of all, the police should have, pre- I mean, the, the DA should have pressed charges anyway, no matter what the homeowner wants. If some guy busts into someone's house and grabs a two-year-old girl, and then there's an altercation to get the girl back, and then, and then the homeowner says, actually, never mind, no harm, no foul. The DA, it, it is their responsibility to press charges. But what you're going to hear from a lot of the prison reform crowd and all the people who say, actually, it was society that made this guy beat and kill a four-year-old child or try to steal a two-year-old child. What they're going to say is, look, we need mercy. We're a merciful and compassionate society. And in our mercy and our compassion, we're going to let this guy off the hook. Where's the mercy and compassion for Cass Gurnan? Where's the mercy and compassion for his family? Where's the mercy and compassion for this two-year-old girl that thankfully he, he didn't manage to steal her? Where's that mercy and compassion? These are real consequences here. But because I'm, I'm, frankly, I'm shocked that they released the guy's description. Or I, that's going to advance harmful stereotypes, right? According to the Austin Statesman, it's going to, you're not allowed to do that. But this has horrible, the, the bizarre racial narrative that the left has grabbed onto in this country is having horrible effects for people of all races, for justice in the country, and it doesn't matter. No consequences whatsoever. No, there will be no consequences for the DA who didn't push charges. None at all. I hope there are consequences for this, this guy, Darren Ronell Brown. Maybe there will be, maybe there won't. Now, the, the racial narrative that they're pushing, of course, is uh, that, as the commenter observed at the top of the show, that whiteness is a sort of stand-in for sin, and that's why it's a, got, we need a permanent cure to it, and we need to abolish it, and this is what we're told now in, in corporate boardrooms in university campuses, there is legal anti-white racism. Hey, hey, hold on. I know, I know that you're in a hurry to go pre-order my upcoming book, Speechless, Controlling Words, Controlling Minds, which will be on pre-order for another eight days or so. And then it's going to be released on June 22nd. You can get an autographed first edition copy right now. I know you're in a rush, but first, just ring that bell, subscribe, like this video, head on over, subscribe to the Michael Knowles Show audio podcast, wherever you get your podcasts then you will never miss any of our content. All right, you can go get the book now.